We, uh, when you think about our business, there's no real special sauce, right? It's, we serve organic and local food, um, but anybody can serve organic and local food. They can right. use our same vendors, they can go to our farmers, and they can really build and copy us if they want. Um, but what we're really investing in, and to answer your question, is creating a, a really tight culture and incredible brand and investing in the brand and investing in the community, you're able to create, you're able to differentiate yourself from a convenient place to go to lunch to a destination. Okay. And I think if you do that correctly and as we scale, the culture can speak for itself. Right. The culture can create those guidelines for decision making. Our core values are there. Okay. Um, people believe in this idea of what we call passion and purpose. This idea of these unusual combinations that surprise people and delight people. And our, uh, our, whole, our whole mission is it's kind of geared around this idea of the sweet life, which is essentially creating experiences where passion and purpose come together. Okay. And we're trying to not only create a restaurant, but we're also trying to create a movement behind that. I was going to say, that, that conception of the business would go wider than, than restaurants, right? Mm -hmm. Restaurants are just the beginning of the sweet green revolution, I guess. So like we told you in, back there, we have uh, entrepreneur ADD. So we're <laughs> very, uh, it's very tempting to do other businesses. Uh, but you know, we're focused on the restaurants. Uh, we also do a music festival. But once we've kind of, what we can do now is use this brand layer of the sweet life or sweet green and plant seeds in other business verticals, potentially, so that when we're ready to do those, it doesn't feel like it's forced or we paid for them. It feels part of our DNA. And we can, whether it's a hotel, whether it's you know, an airline, whether it's a fitness, or whether it's an apparel brand, we can kind of plant those seeds now by being a lifestyle brand, not a product brand, and when we're ready, we can, we can tackle those. Okay.